Hi everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Debbie, and today we're going to be making oatmeal scotchies. And in my kitchen today, I have two special guests. Hello! Hello. <laughs> Please introduce yourself. I'm Maddie. I'm Emma. These are my granddaughters. Let's get into making our oatmeal scotchies. So if you're new here, Please hit that red subscribe button. Hit the bell. They give us the biggest thumbs up ever. And why do they hit the bell? So they can be notified every time there's a new video. Yeah, awesome. Awesome. So let's get into it. Okay, so we're going to let Maddie do the first small bowl. And it says to combine our flour. What else does it need, Maddie? Maddie, we're baking... Flour, baking soda, salt, cinnamon, in a, in a small bowl, beet butter, granulated sugar, brown sugar, eggs, and vanilla extract in large mixer bowl. Okay, so we're going to start out with our small bowl first. I gave you the wrong container. What is the matter with me? Everything. <laughs> She's such a lovely granddaughter. Okay, so it says one and a fourth cup. So there's a fourth of a cup. And we're going to always make it a level scoop. So you just take your, like that, and you'll drag it onto the cup. There's your fourth. Okay, and then we need one cup. So set that one aside so you can get this big old cup in there. And we'll take one and a fourth cups of all-purpose flour. <laughs> I, make, I make messes all the time. If you watch my videos, Miss Maddie, you know that. You, have, you probably have like one hour of watch time okay. just for me. Go ahead and pull the flour up. Could I have a teaspoon measuring spoon, please, Miss Emma? One teaspoon? Okay. And both of these are one teaspoon. It's just that you want. Okay, now we're going to need uh, one teaspoon of baking soda. Level it off. Like clumpy. Yep, do that if you want. That good. Yep. Alrighty. And what's next? Uh, half a teaspoon of salt. Thank you. Here's our salt. We're going to do it over this if you spill any that way. That's a half a teaspoon. Yep, you got it right. Just turned upside down. It should just pour in there. I usually have that measured out. Okay. And then a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. We'll just take this little thingy off, and I think you can reach down in there. Go ahead and use your scraper. I'll hold this. It's fine. Okay, and then let's see. Next, we're gonna be in the big bowl. I think just we're just gonna stir that gently together with our whisk and combine that, and then we'll get our wet ingredients together. Okay, then next we're gonna have Emma do our wet ingredients, and Maddie can read them off. What does she do first? Um, first. We're about where granulated. we're beating the butter. Beating butter first, actually. Okay, we're going to beat these all together. So this is the first thing we're going to put in before we start beating. Oops, I guess I could let you do that, couldn't I? <laughs> yeah. There you go. Just pull it, it says one cup of butter. Oh, Grandma's got dirty utensils now. There we go. Okay. What's the next ingredient after butter? Granulated sugar. Granulated sugar, and how much is that? Um, three fourths. Three, three fourths, fourths of a cup. cup. Yeah. So that will be three of those, Miss Emma, because she's using a fourth a cup. I have to count out loud sometimes, or I forget. One, 
Next is three-fourths. Next is three-fourths a cup of packaged brown sugar. Packed brown sugar. You got to pack it in there. You know how to pack it in there? No. Just make sure it's really, really. Get you some scooped out in there. Okay. And now we're going to pack that in there a little bit with your hands. Just press it down. Make sure it's kind of level. And that's one. Three fourths? Yes. So we've got to do how many more? Two more. Okay. Package it. There you go. Pack it. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie says package it. She's funny. I'm gonna She's going to tell you a joke later. Yeah. And I'm so funny. And that will be the last one, correct? Yes. Three quarter. And then next is two large eggs. And can I do one? No. How about you each do one? Yeah. Huh. Is that okay? Huh. I did just have one in there and one in there. If you want to crack them over that, just to make sure you don't get shells. Let me grab a... Oh, can I, I already went. Wait, what do I do? Crack them in there or in there? Yeah. I know how to do eggs. I'm pretty good. You can them. just put the shells back in the bowl. And then wipe off our hands. Yep. Two eggs. Okay. I'll take the shell bowl. I need a paper towel. Next, can I use this paper towel? Yep. Next is one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Ooh, and we got some good old Mexican vanilla. That would have been a, that was a big one. Yeah. We got another one waiting. I'm sorry. Have... How much did you say? One teaspoon. Okay. One teaspoon. We're going to use this because I dropped my teaspoon on the ground a while ago. Just. There's your teaspoon. Do you want to pour and I hold the spoon? Yeah. What are we pouring it over here? Scott? Now it kind of comes out kind of fast, so just. A little bit more. Perfect. That was actually perfect. I didn't even spill any. I usually do in my recipes, but. That's okay. Yeah. Okay. No, now let's check our double before. check our ingredients that we have there. What did it say? Next. After we no. have butter, read butter. all the rest. Do we have them all? The mixing, okay? Okay. So if you want to plug this in for me, right over there would be great. It might be a little bit loud. And we'll get this combined. <laughs> Got to get all those brown sugar chunks, don't we? And then what is the next step? The next step is three cups quick or old-fashioned oats. Okay. And we just mix this into the red ingredient still? Yeah, stir in oats. Okay, let me get this off here first then. I like all licking those after. What is it, Maddie? No licking. How much? Um three cups. Oh, I have my I have my oats already pre measured out here. See the three um, measuring cup right there. So we're going to incorporate this, right? As you when mix. do you do the put the flour in? Okay, I'm gonna beat in the flour mixture before we add the oats. Yeah, you hold the bowl for me. We don't want flour flying everywhere, do we? No. Thank Why you. Why does the paper always sneeze? Because flour gets up his nose. Oops. Good. 
Mm, smelling good, isn't it? Why'd you do that? Just trying to clean my beaters off as I was taking them out. Little trick, but sometimes it doesn't work. Okay, and now we add the oats. Correct? Yes, add the oats. Okay. How about you do half, and then I'll stir those up. That's more. Okay. How do you feel? That is not how they roll. It's fine. Ooh, these are going to be so good. I know. I like whenever there's... My grandson's here, too. He's he's in the living room playing a game. We yeah. might have him be our taste tester later. Yeah, yeah he's so... He's number one official taste tester. Okay, it's fine. Never mind. If you hear him in the background, he's playing Roblox. Okay, we're ready for the second half. Do you just pour it all in because that's... I think so. And if you haven't already, go watch her other videos. She has lots of cool other baking videos. And cleaning. And a few shorts, huh? Um, yeah, a short dog videos. short. Yeah, that's my grand dog that I have on my short video. She has two. And I also have another grand dog. It's my dog. They and, have a dachshund, too. And a grand cat. He's so cute. Oscar. Oh, yeah. Trevor's a little kitty. And send me birthday wishes, because my birthday is the 26. And how old are you going to be? 13. 13. I was trying to, I knew you was going to be 13. Are you going to be 10? 11. 11? Wow, I can't even keep up. Can't even keep up. Paisley's going to be 6, no, 7. Okay. <laughs> okay, what's, okay, um, new part. Go. The next step is one, one and two thirds cups or eleven ounces of packaged Toll House butterscotch. Nestle Toll House, ooh, oh, yeah, that's Nestle. the best brand. Can you get it? But if you don't have it, you don't have to use it. And how much are those, Emma? Does it say how big? How big the packages? It could be eleven ounces too. Oh, it says oh. eleven ounces. They want the whole thing in there. Yep. Wow, that's going to be a lot of butterscotch chips. Can I dump some? Oh, yep. But if you don't want that much, you don't have to put Let's it. not dump them all in, but... Almost all. Ooh, they smell good. Did you smell them? No. Oh, my gosh, they smell so good. Oh, yeah, I smell them. Mm. Do me dump a little bit Let me bit get more. these stirred in, and then we'll check it out, okay? What's butterscotch, like, actual flavor? Uh, kind of similar to maybe, like, caramel. It smells like caramel. Caramel, I mean, with peanut butter. Mmm. They melt a little bit. Oh, they're so good. Mmm. Let's add just a little bit more. We don't want the butterscotch. I want to taste some of the cookie, house. right? Yeah. I'm going to eat some right now, but I can't. It looks so good. Well, when our mom makes. Um, cookies, she loves cookie dough so much, she makes a little bit extra so we can save the cookie dough. Yeah. You put it in ice cream? No. no. We put it, we eat it by spoonfuls. Oh, my. It's but so like good. one, one oh, it is good. One spoon a day. You don't eat too much because it has raw eggs in it. Yeah, we only eat like one spoon a day. Well, mostly just you and mom eat it. Okay. So, what do we do next? Drop by round tablespoon onto unbaked. Ungreased baking sheets. Okay. I said unbaked instead of ungreased. So I'm going to move our cookie sheets over here. If you can help me move those over here. Okay, now I have my cookie sheets ready. And what was we preheating the oven to? 375. 375. Okay, we got that on. So we're going to take turns getting our cookies onto our cookie sheets. So you can scooch over here by her. Okay, that way I'll so we're using these, dry. but you can use whatever you want. It doesn't matter how big you make your cookies. Enough. Yeah. Do I just sit on this pan? Yep. Yeah. It's a little bit much. We're just, we're just trying to get them about the same size. <laughs> My okay. Big. Just take a little bit off of it and put it back in the bowl. 
Wait, is that too big? Actually, I'll just put no. it over here for my next I think I need to make mine a little bit bigger. Got to catch up with you girls. I know, we'll make them too big. You're going to have monster cookies now. <laughs> Wait, should I just... Her mom has a really good monster cookie recipe. I might get that and... and uh, should I just do three across? Yes, three across, I think, is perfect. For us, and we'll do across. We might want to leave just a touch more space. There we go. How many rows are we going to do? Mm, I think you should be able to get four rows. That's so 12 on each pan. Yep. Yeah. Or bake more than one, three sheets at once. Get her, Emma. Get her done. Don't Oops, sorry. There was just no got cookie dough all over your back. No, I didn't. I'll be fine. <laughs> no, I didn't. Emma, you can use your hand, honey. I know, Maddie was going over me. I see. Okay, I'm done. Now what do I do with my hands? They don't want to do this. Okay, we're just finishing up our cookie dough. I'm going to go wash. Emma's got three more to do. And then we'll get them in the oven to bake for about seven to nine minutes. It's going in. And now we're out. Now let's plate them. And they're done. Time to eat them. Okay, I would like to thank Maddie and Emma for helping me today. And now let's try time them. To taste. before we taste them. Just remember, and just remember, I'm going to have the recipe in this. And just remember, she's going to put the recipe in the description box below. That's what I meant to say. Thanks. All right, let's taste one. What do you think? Thumbs up. What do you think? I think you get the out of ten from me. Ooh, that's pretty high up there. I like it. The middle is is uh, still gooey a little bit, and the outside edges are crispy. Perfect cookie. So. Until next time, take care of yourself and each other. Bye. Bye. You see that? Today, since we're making cookies, here's a cookie joke. Why did the cookie go to the doctor? Why? Because he was feeling crummy. Uh, uh, uh.